Clark for the Springwater Public Library. And welcome to Storytime. I am so excited to be here with you today. This is our second Storytime back after summer break and I am just so happy to be here. So today I have something very special about Storytime that we're gonna talk about. Because this summer people could enter their stories and I would read them on Storytime and that's what we're going to do today. But their story is about going to the tiny marsh. And does anyone know what a marsh is? So a marsh is a really special place. It's an outdoor place that's full of nature and sometimes there's wetlands. So there are streams and rivers and kind of bogs, but there's also usually a little bit of forest too. So it's kind of a combination of everything and it's really, really exciting. I go to the Y Marsh with my family a lot and I've never been to the Tiny Marsh and after reading this story, I really, really wanna go. So today our stories and songs are gonna be about that kind of thing and our songs, I decided I'm going to do them about frogs because every time I go to a marsh, I see lots and lots of frogs and I don't know about you, but frogs, I think they're pretty cool. They can jump high. They're pretty cute. They get really long, sticky tongues. I really like them. So we are going to learn some songs about frogs. We are going to read a very special story and we're even going to do a rhyme about frogs. So sit back, relax, and welcome to story time. So the first song that we're going to do today is the one that we do all the time. And no, it does not have to do with frogs, not this one, but it is open them, shut them. And it is such a great song because it gets our fingers moving, it gets our brain moving, it gets our bodies to have a little wiggle before we sit still to listen to a story. So I really love this song. And we're gonna get our fingers ready. If everybody can wiggle their fingers, we're going to go open and shut them, open and shut them, give them a big clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, slowly creep them right up to your chin. Open wide, but do not let them in. The next song that we're going to do it is about, you guessed it, frogs. And we're going to use our fingers as our frogs because it's about five little frogs. Can we get our fingers ready? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Okay, let's get ready. So it goes, five green and speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Splash. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four green and speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three, three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three green and speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Splash. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Splash. Now there is one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sitting on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. What he jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. The next rhyme that we're going to do is about a frog. 
And so it goes, croak, said the frog. So can you make a croaking sound like a frog, like a ribbit or a It's kind of sometimes how frogs sound, isn't it? Or a, I don't know, how else do they sound? They go I'm not quite sure. Let's say they say ribbit. So we'll say, croak, said the frog, ribbit, with his golden eyes, sitting on a lily pad, catching flies. I have a sticky tongue. It's as fast as can be. And I can catch mosquitoes. One, two, three. So the story that I'm reading today was submitted by Shay Giffen to the Elmville branch. And I'm so excited to read this because it is such a wonderful story. So thank you, Shay, so much for sending this story in because this has made story time so magical and amazing today. Thank you. So let's hear Shay's story. It's called A Day at the Tiny Marsh. Once upon a time, there were two girls who were best friends. Their names were Violet and Rosa. The girls loved to walk at the tiny marsh. While they were walking, they saw 10 frogs, one beaver, two painted turtles, and one snake. The girls were interested in the animals. As Rosa was looking for a painted turtle, she fell in the water. Rosa climbed out of the water and was upset. All of a the sudden, they could hear something. They heard, nah. Violet and Rosa looked up and saw a unicorn flying over their heads. The unicorn had white fur and a rainbow mane. It looked down at the girls and said, goodbye. The unicorn then flew up and away to a rainbow. The girls laughed so hard that they forgot about Rosa's accident because they were so surprised to see a magical unicorn. Then two more unicorns came. The girls hopped on their backs and said, woohoo! And the unicorns flew the girls home. The end. And that's it, my friends. Thank you so much for coming to my story time today. And thank you so much for listening to our very special handwritten story today. Was that not an amazing story? I'm so excited that I got to read that today. And I'm so excited that you sat and listened to it with me. So I think we should end our song that we always end with. We are going to end with, if you're happy and you know it, because I don't know about you, but I am feeling incredibly happy today. So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a frog and you know it, jump up and down. If you're a frog and you know it, jump up and down. If you're a frog and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a frog and you know it, jump up and down. If you're a frog and you know it, say, ribbit, ribbit. If you're a frog and you know it, say, ribbit, ribbit. If you're a frog and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a frog and you know it, say, ribbit, ribbit. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I am so happy we had this time together and I will see you next week where we will read another special story submitted by another special library user. I will see you later. Bye.